Debbie Bird with Briggs Freeman Sotheby's International Realty. Thanks for joining me at 4806 Dexter Avenue. Why don't you come on in and join me? It is a nice, gorgeous day here in Fort Worth, and it is bright and sunny. Come on in. Look at this grand entrance. I love, this is one of my favorite parts of this house. And all of this is custom wood paneling. This house was built in 2016. It is 4,500 square feet, has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and two half baths. And I am going to show you in. So come on, follow me in to the main living area. There's a lot of great spaces in here. And this is my favorite because the living area is so open. If you can see the ceilings, it's got all of this custom woodwork. There's also great built-ins around the television and the fireplace. And a couple of nice doors that go out to the backyard. And then as we come around here, we've got a breakfast area and then this open kitchen. Y'all, look at this island. Isn't this amazing? So we've got the, the sink, refrigerator, and the chef's dream of this range here. We've got a lot, a lot of cabinet space. And then we'll go into the master bedroom. What's great about this place is that the master bedroom's downstairs. So we've got this great master bedroom. One of the things too about this house is that it is only blocks from the bricks in Fort Worth, which is, um, one of the best places, best walkable places in Fort Worth for restaurants and for um, coffee shops, wine bars, anything like that, uh, boutiques. And come on into the bathroom. In here we've got a double vanity and this wonderful shower and tub. I love this shower. And it's got a rain head. And then look at this gorgeous closet. I think any, uh, anybody could uh, have a good time in this closet. And then we'll come back out this way and head upstairs to the other three bedrooms. So one direction in this neighborhood is the bricks. And then in another direction, walking distance, you will find the Rivercrest Country Club, uh, which is also a great uh, location for this house. Let's head up the stairs. Upstairs there um, will come first to a landing area. In the upstairs there is a game room and media room, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. So we've got this great landing area and after this we'll head over into the uh, guest bedroom or one of the bedrooms that has uh, an ensuite. One thing worth noting too is that every house, I mean every window in this house has plantation shutters on the front. And then 
we step down over the crochet downstairs and we've got a bathroom with a walk-in shower and a closet let's head back out to the media room now I wish that you guys were here with me to smell the popcorn that was just popped because it smells so delicious. I really want to sit down and have uh, some popcorn. And then this way we have a game room. Also, I'd like to point out one, one space after this um, game room that is not listed in MLS. got a wet bar and space for a, um, a cooler or an ice maker and a cork wall right here for all your gaming. All of my missed shots. <laughs> We, we skipped this little space right here, but there's a half bath right here off of the game room and the media room. There's also this flex space right here. Um, we've got it locked right now, but you can use it as, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty long, narrow room. So you can use it as a fitness room or a second office. It is about 26 uh, feet long, so it's a long, narrow room, but um, uh, I believe it has a window and um, so it's, long, it's about seven uh, feet wide, but it'd make a great fitness area or second office if you need the, uh, more office space. So let's see this other bedroom. In here we've got, this is bedroom number three, and it connects to the fourth bedroom with a Jack and Jill bathroom that's laid out really, really nice. And look at these high ceilings. Every room in this house has amazing high ceilings. Now, if you'll follow me this way, we'll go into the bathroom. We've got closets, we have got vanity, number one. Then it can close off, which is a really nice feature, to this nice bath area. And the second room, or the other half of this Jack and Jill has the same matching side. Again, with the great high ceilings, it makes everything just feel so much bigger. This house is already big at 4,500 square feet, but it just feels so much grander with the, the tall ceilings. And then this is my favorite room of all. This is such a beautiful nursery and the chandelier is just to die for. I love the ceilings in this room and the wallpaper. They just did a really great job on this room and the colors. downstairs and see a couple more things that we missed on the way in. So let's go downstairs. I'm not sure if any of you have questions, but feel free to uh, ask questions on the screen and I can take a look and see if I can answer some of your questions. All right, we're back at the entry space. Look how big it is. But I want to show you a couple of things that you probably didn't notice coming in. So if you'll follow me, we've got a couple of hidden spaces. One is a powder room, hidden right inside. And a 
on the other side, we have another matching door handle, which you probably notice now, that is a coat closet just as big as this bathroom. And then, as we all know with quarantine, we've had to office from home a whole lot more than we were used to. And so if you're one of those people, or you just work from home anyway, we've got office space right here up front. Of course, you can make that flex space upstairs a second office uh, if you need the space for that. Surround sound in the office and around all of um, the downstairs. So this way, this right here is a formal dining room. The current owners uh, who are relocating, uh, they wanted to use it as a second sitting area. So they converted it to a second sitting area. However, it, is, uh, it was designed as a formal dining room. So you could put a chandelier in here and convert it right back to a dining room if that is what you would like to do. And what makes it great about being a dining room is right here, we have a butler's pantry that goes straight into the kitchen. So if you have got um, some stuff to bring into the dining room, you can go right through. This is also a second um, receiving area. Uh, so there's a door that goes outside to the porta cache and a small mudroom area. We've got a massive pantry right here and a little bar area here. Now, if we go outside, we're gonna go see some really neat features outside, so come on. Here on Dexter Avenue, one of the really, really unique features about this house is that it has a front entrance. A lot of the homes don't have a front driveway. They only come in through the alleyway. This home has a front driveway to the front street, a gate, Porta cache here so that you can bring in groceries to the kitchen if you would like. Then, and you can also park your car here, but however, it has a garage right back here for two cars, so maybe you could put a third car in here if you needed to. In this garage, you've got to wait and see what's the cool thing of this garage. So the garage has a second door on the other side. So it's got this front door that we've already pulled up, a second door on the other side that we've pulled halfway just so you can see um, what it does. But this way you can come in through the front, pull straight out the back, and you never have to um, reverse into, um, and so you'll pull right out of the alley and you never have to uh, back out of this driveway, which is awesome, especially if you drive a Suburban like, uh, like me. We've got this really great backyard with a very high fence um, for privacy. But it's a, it's a good size for entertaining and it's got a great porch. And we'll go back through. I want to show you one thing that we missed too in the, uh, the kitchen that we skipped. So right here, we've got a doggy door and a second mud room so you can come in from the garage. It has a bench, a lot of great hooks for backpacks and dog leashes and all the things, plus our laundry area and a washing sink in the laundry area, which is also a great feature. see the owner the current owner is a gardener so you can uh, you can also use that as a gardening sink have your wash your tomatoes in the sink before you bring them into the kitchen all right I don't know if you've had any questions I haven't looked at the screen can you tell me if there's any questions okay if I went too fast or you have more questions you can go to um, you can DM me and I can send you direct links to this home you can also shop for this home at 4806 Dexter Avenue in Fort Worth on any of your favorite uh, real estate websites like Zillow or BriggsFreeman.com. Um, you can also, I'll, I'll post it in my links, a direct link to this home. And you can feel free to ask me any questions. 
uh, or Veronica, the listing agent, you can ask her questions as well uh, about the home. We are so glad that you joined us. Again, I'm Debbie Bird with Briggs Freeman Sotheby's International Realty. This is 4806 Dexter Avenue. Thank you so much for joining us today.